Welcome to the Crafty Tips Podcast, episode 21. 21. We are legal. We are. We can we drink. Were, we Look, thought we were going to bring champagne. We're drinking. Yeah, I'll have my iced tea. I am having hot chocolate um, in my Autumn and Pooh's Garden mug, which is just beautiful. Anyway, um, hot chocolate with marshmallows because it's cold and rainy. Cheers. Cheers. Happy All birthday. Right. We're 21. Woo! I didn't do it right the first time. Maybe this time. I'll... Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so, uh, Crafty Toads. I am Mary Beth. You can find me everywhere as Mary Beth four nine four. And I am Helen, and you can find me as Helen HD sixty nine. We are sisters, and we do crafty things. Yes. Uh, we are the creative force between behind Toad Hollow bags and now Toad Hollow yarn. <laughs> which we'll be showing later. Um, and we have... Um, oh, and we show up sometimes online as Toad Hollow NJ because that's our, our uh, store name. And our Etsy store is Toad Hollow NJ, or you can get there by ToadHollowNJ.com. And our Instagram account, we are currently doing the 25 days of Christmas, or the countdown to Christmas. Which reminds me, we need to do something for today. We have to today. do something for today. Right. Hopefully it's going to be, hey, we have a podcast up. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so check us out because the first day we gave something away and we put up free pattern and all sorts of fun things. So we're doing fun. cool things. Yeah, it's uh, our basic countdown calendar to Christmas because we love Christmas. Um, we also have two dogs, Spike and Drusilla, that you may hear in the background. Right now, one of them is their children. So the minute we start doing anything... They're right here at our feet. They appear to have eaten through the bribe that I gave them just before I hit record. And so. And last episode, you met Dudley, so he's one of our cats. Who knows? Um, Tabitha Stanley. Tabitha may, may make an appearance. May make an appearance, since she was one of the bribes I handed out. So. We will see what happens. However, you may hear them in the background. Um, th this is our household. We have, you know, two cats, two dogs, two peeps. Works. Um. What was I going to, oh, we have a Ravelry page. Yes. The Crafty Toads. Uh, come find us. We do fun things. We're doing in the middle of a Christmas swap. And I'm going to show one of mine because I got it in the mail. And it is awesome. So um, if you want to come join us there, that's we got great people there too. And we have a cow that we're going to be starting on January 1st. Um, which we will go into later. Okay. I We have show notes. I'm going to write cow in the show notes. So oh, that I, we don't I kind forget. of meant later in the month. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. All right. Um, so we are mostly knitting and crocheting and a little bit of... Oh, look, we got a sale. Um, we sell on Etsy. Uh, a little bit of sewing. Um, so shall we start with whips? Uh, yeah. Okay. Now you have more than I do. So why don't you get started and I'll look and see what we sell. Okay. Because, you know, we're children. Every time that cha-ching goes off, it's like, what do we sell? I know. We've had a bunch of sales, but we still are very, very excited the minute it comes through, and we need to know. And the winner is Pooh Cupcake Toppers. Helen gets to make cupcake toppers. Since I believe the hashtag right now, based on Sue Stokes Periscope, is Crochet Rabbit Hole. So... I am in the crochet rabbit hole. I am not doing what everybody else is doing. I am doing a giant granny square, which I adore. Let me just take the hook out. And oh, this is so pretty. This is how far I've gotten since the last time I showed you. Are we on the right side? Where's my progress keeper? Yes, here he is. Okay, so. You can see here I've gone gone around and around all like that. So I think two episodes ago I sh showed it originally. Um, but it's getting very big. I adore it. And we were at um, our local yarn shop yesterday, and I've got at least one other uh, Idana working on hers, and she's equally as obsessed. I believe hers may be almost twice the size of mine. I know hers is really big and it's gorgeous. Um, so what I am doing is I just go around and around and around using my minis. Um, we put them in our Mrs. Weasley sweater and then the little tiny bit that's and sometimes bigger that's left 
Uh, goes into the blanket. And on Sue's Periscope yesterday, they were talking about how the granny squares, the giant granny squares, have a tendency to go a little wonky. Um, so is yours? It is. It's just, it's it's like so it's not... how is it wonky? It's just not lying as a perfect square. Wait, you mean because it's coming in a little bit? Yeah, kind of like that. So what people said was... Um, changing direction each time you go around. So what do you get to here and then instead of going down this way you just go backwards? No, when I get to here, which is the beginning of my essentially round. Okay. Instead of, because I'm going to come at it from here. Right. So I'm going to come at it this way. I'll be crocheting along. And so you'll be here. coming along the top here. I'll be coming along the top here. So then naturally I would just keep going around here, but what I will do is I will turn it and the next round will go this way. Okay. So Supposedly that is going to kind of straighten it out. I just assumed that it had straightened during blocking. Um, I'm so clueless. I didn't notice that there was anything wrong. Blocking um, is going to be interesting because I, I plan on this being like a king queen size afghan. <laughs> so, blocking. Okay. I'm not sure I have enough maps in the world. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wondering block if blocking is going to be blocking hanging it from like a line or like a steam iron kind of thing. Um, Maybe. So, I will cross that bridge when I get there. I got got a ways to go. I figured you're just going to keep going. It's going to fill the bridge. <laughs> it's just it's going to be the blanket that never ends. I was going to see my, my, the blanket that ate my house. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know how people yarn bomb like trees and stuff. We yarn bomb the house. And now it's just draping down. I, I'm sure our Everybody landlord will. would appreciate it when he opens the door and just, just, everybody's just gonna know exactly them. where. <laughs> oh, they live in the house that's blanketed. Yeah. It's kind of with the windows open and like, this is all the blankets <laughs> escaping from every room. So, this is my blanket. It's all I want to work on. I don't want to do anything else. Um, but well, but, you have to hurry up and finish it because I need one too. <laughs> <so>. <laughs> Yeah. I keep thinking, I watch her do it, and I she gets so excited about it, and I think, oh, I've got to start doing this, but I've got other things that I'm really enjoying working on, so. Well, that's the thing, I do, I want to work on this, but I want to finish other things. And once so you start doing to, the other things, too, yeah. you know, you get really into those, and then you're like, now all I want to do is work on this. Yeah. So, so. that is my blanket. Cool. Love it. All right. Yeah. Um, I am working on a pair of socks. I showed this, I think, the last time. These are my opal socks. And I've gotten a little bit further. I haven't gotten a ton. Right. But are they opal? They are opal. They Michael. are opal. But don't correct me. I thought, it was, I thought we did Regia. But no, okay. we're on opal. Yeah. We were so. going to buy Regia, but she had opal. Right. Okay. So mine are um, on the opal socks. There you go. And this is how they are turning out. This is my first sock. Okay, stop, come on. Now I have two different needles going because I was going to have them um, be going two at a time. And then the only time I have worked on them, this is my second one. I've gotten past. Let him go. No, I have gotten past the cuff. And I am now on to knitting the basic part of the sock. But I was pulling from the outside and the inside, and I was going to put them both on the same needle, um, but when I was working on them, I just got so entranced with keeping going and going and going that I didn't stop to put them on. So, I, I have. It. I love that the yellow here in this red, yeah. right here, it doesn't go all the way around. No. It's kind of cool. And your blue doesn't go all the way around either. That's really... I'm wondering if it's if I cast on 64 stitches and I'm doing them on a size 2 needle, I'm wondering if I put them on a slightly smaller needle or slightly less, they go all around. But I don't... I don't, you know, no, just, I don't think it matters. It just, it's kind of funny. It's really... It's so yeah. cool. Um, and I keep the ball in a bag so I have no idea what's coming out. And I was at a show last Friday and I was knitting just knitting along and I looked down and I'm like oh look that blue and white section yeah, <laughs> just happened so because I wasn't really paying attention while I was doing the knitting so that's that's what I have been doing on these socks so far I'm working away because this is really cool love them 
they are, I just had it. What do I do with it? Right here. You want to pull? Oh, thank you. Okay. Um, so it's 100 grams, 75 wool, 25% polyamide. And as I said, I am doing them on size twos. On One is on a set of... Nip prosings. Nip prosings, and the others are on higher, higher sharps. That is my sock. Okay. I'm working away. The popping noise you may or may not hear in the background is a toy being destroyed, but we're going to go with it because it's better than barking. My sock. We have, we're filming in the kitchen, we have a tiny little island that has everything on top of it, so I'm now trying to find a spot to put my back. Oh, and you can't put your feet down on the ground because, you know, there's a dog there. <laughs> but again, quiet. Right. So, we will go with it. My socks are the socks that I am knitting for my mother for Christmas. Um, they are the Cozy Knitter Gingerbread House. And it is a good thing that I love my mother as much as I do. I still say you try it on. Love these socks more than I love my mother. I still say you try it on before you finish doing this, the, the foot. I think I'm going to give them to her. Yeah. And she is going I to will, love them so much. I will just to get myself another skein. I just, I just look oh, at the heel. So awesome. Look at the heel. I was supposed to, she gives you a uh, a little mini skein for your heels, toes, and cuffs, and I did the cuff. Um, and I was going to drop the heel in that color just to kind of break up the stripes a little bit. But then I couldn't figure out how to do the gusset without having to change yarns as I go along because I do a, um, a dropped heel. So I decided to do it in uh, with the, the main yarn. And I just, I adore that the heel is striped. So do I. I think it looks fantastic. And it, I mean, some of my stripes got a little smaller as I'm doing the gusset because I'm in the middle of the gusset right now. I'm almost done the gusset right now. Um, but I don't care, and she won't care, um, and I just, I love it. Are you going to do the different color, color toe? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, do the, the toe. I'll do the cream toe, um, and that's more going to be, um, yarn preservation to make sure that I have enough to do both socks. My mom likes long socks. Yeah. So we made a little bit longer, but... It knits beautifully, her striping is gorgeous. This is the first time I'm working with the Cozy Knitter. Um, she lives up to the hype. So. Oh, yeah. I have a skein coming. Look at that beautiful stitch definition. So. I have a skein. I think, did I get Holly Jolly? I think so. I think I got Holly Jolly. Very excited about that. But And we only got one in that update because we said I had mine. Right. So. What size needles are you doing? Size 2, 60... No. 56? 56 stitches. Yeah, 56. So... Which was interesting because I always do 64 stitches and I was doing the heel. Um, oh, and you had to do a little and bit. And I had to pick up and then I had to do a little bit of math just to make sure that I got back, that I'm going to get back down to my 56 stitches. It's not like high in math or anything like that. I managed to muddle my way through. But uh, it was just, oh, wait, that's not going to work. Right. So. Love it, love it, love it. Beautiful. It really, I'm, really, I'm very excited for mine to come. And this has been my car uh, and show knitting. And because Mary Beth usually drives, but now she hurt her knee. She's totally screwing with my schedule. Helen's going, going to have to drive, drive but which means I might actually get some work done. I mean, <laughs> well, we'll see. Or you'll sleep. Uh, how long will it take for me to fall asleep? So we will see. But all right. My next whip is my Mrs. Weasley sweater. And it is humongous. I will hold. I have three different needles on this. <laughs> These are getting so unwieldy. And little balls of yarn attached to each set of needles. Wait, wait in the back. Wait, wait, wait. I have almost finished one sleeve. I'm down to my cuff. And I was going to start doing the cuff with the green. I'm going to do it in the solid green. However, I don't have the right size needles. I need a size 4 on Chow Goose. The only thing I have in a size 4 is Susan Bates, which has a very, very stiff 
cord so that I cannot do... It really does not work for Magic Loop. Oh, the Magic Loop is terrible with it. Um, so what I have is Sorry. one full oh, sleeve done. Here's the sleeve. And then I have my second sleeve started. I love this color. This I know. Orange color. It's a peachy orange. It's so pretty. These are all minis that we, I have gotten through swaps and finishing off things. So it's all fingering weight. Um, for anyone who's new, we are calling this our Mrs. Weasley sweater. It is um, the Lifesaver sweater by Tannis, Tannis Fiber, Fiber Arts. And it is a cardigan. It will be cardigan showing the front. <laughs> Here we go. Quick change. I have to still, well, I'm finishing up my sleeves so that I can try on the sweater and see if I want it to go the full length that they suggest because I'm very short waisted. So I need to try it on first to see if I need it to go down further or less where I want it to hit that sort of thing. So I wanted to get the sleeves done so I could try it on. So that's what the sleeves are. That's why I'm doing the sleeves now. And then if I need to, I have a couple more inches to do on the bottom of the body, and then I have to do the button band and picking up the cuff along the bottom and the top of the sweater. I believe you go up and think, around think, and back down again. Yeah, I think what we do is we do the um, the ribbing on mm -hmm. the bottom, and then okay. we go up and around. Oh, okay. Yep. So that is where I am right now. Um, we've been what we. Binge watch this week, Good Girls Revolt on Amazon, which we highly recommend. Yes. But they wear a lot of, because it's the 60s, 70s, a lot of uh, crocheted knitwear. Yes. This kind of reminds me of I know. hideous colorways. <laughs> and so <laughs> not the year sweaters hideous. Right. It's just. There There was a lot of bright colors going yeah. on. Um, but yes, so this, this, is, this is my Mrs. Weasley blob right now. It will get itself together into a sweater at some point but right now it is just we're getting there yeah oh definitely getting closer and closer yeah. um and i really i'm bluffing doing the sleeves because they're knit in the round and you just i do a band of 10 or 11 rows in each color and it just so you're changing every now and then um and i can get usually two colors in per night so it's a nice fast easy thing yeah but Really, really love it. I can't wait to wear it. My hope was to be done for Thanksgiving. That did not happen. My second hope was to be done for Christmas. We shall see. I'm beginning to think probably not, but um, hopefully we can try soon. for New Year's. Well, it would be a really great thing and a huge thing to get Go off my needles, needles yeah. if I could finish it. Um, because, well, I'll talk about um, my next inspiration when we get to acquisitions, but because I have things planned for um, what I want to do next. Okay, so right, that's my second my, whip. This is Weasley. And those are basically the only two things I've been working on. What would you like me to hold? <laughs> yeah. So, this is the back of mine. I have gotten. As far as the sweater, the body of the sweater, I have knit to the point that the pattern calls for, the, the length that the pattern calls for in inches. Um, I'm slightly taller than Mary Beth, you might have noticed. So I am still, I haven't started the ribbing yet. And what I'm doing now is I'm working on the sleeves because then I want to try it on and make sure that it is the length right. that I want. So this is my, I only have one sleeve started because I get distracted by my blanket. But. So this is my sleeve. I have about another 60 rows, but they're going to go fairly quickly because I'm decreasing as I go. So the smaller, obviously, they get the this right there. Yeah, the, the, that that's just fantastic. Oh, love it. And um, this one here, I just oh my god, there's so many of them. It is. Here, Most of these see, are that's pumpkin toad, but from, I, it's so cool to because I'm looking through. I'm like, wait, that's pumpkin toad. Yeah. Here are my sweater, my socks that I'm wearing today, actually. So, it's just um. It is 
a cozy memory. Yes. So, um, I just can't wait for it to be done because I can't colors. wait to wear it. Great, great colors. Because I think it's going to be super comfortable. And really, it's going to be light but warm. But warm, and it's just going to be perfect for the house. Right. You know, when you're when you're working and it's getting chilly and just throw it around your yeah. shoulders. Though I don't think we can call, talk about chilly because the reports coming out of Canada are dire. So. <laughs> Oh my god. So I oh, put up, you know, negative 25 degrees Celsius. And I'm like, okay, so what does that equate to here? I think that was close to zero. Yeah. And then somebody else was putting negative 59. 59, which, I mean, really, that's just no. That is, I believe I that's the comment that I put up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Um, and then they got a blizzard, and... Oh, oh. yeah. So, anyway. I like New Jersey. I like being on the coast of New short Jersey. Short seasons. Not short seasons. Um, or equal seasons. Equal seasons, but not anything terribly extreme. And um, we are on the 7th of December, and it is probably, what, 45 degrees outside? Yeah, I'm raining. Raining. Which is cold for us. But cool. But I mean, I was going to comment on one of the Canadian posts, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. I mean, <laughs> it's 43. It went here. into the 30s last <laughs> night, Fahrenheit, and, you know, we're freezing because right. it's raining. So, um, but. Just lots of excuses to knit. Yep. Right? Yep. So, Just keep on knitting. All right. Those are our whips. And we don't have any FOs. No. no. Our whips are fairly big. So. Yes. Moving, moving right along. Okay. Acquisitions. We have had a good week. We've had a really good week. And they're not so much acquisitions as presents. Yes. Yes. So. We do have one acquisition. Oh, yes. Okay. Do you right. want to do that? Sure. Excuse me. I'm going to see if I do can do this without... Yep. I got it. She's got two dogs flanking her. We went to Chelsea Yarn, which is our local yarn store, to drop off some bags yesterday. And as we entered, she's doing a trunk show coming up with Margot Blank. No, Mar Long. Oh, Margot Sabati? Blank is for white. Oh, okay. Margot Sabati. And uh, they have all these sweaters on mannequins out when you walk in the store, all done in white. I just walked in and fell in love with pretty much every single sweater there. I don't yeah. think there is a single sweater that I don't want to make. And I said to Christina, who owns Chelsea Yarns, I asked her, you know, what's with the sweaters? And she was telling me about the um, the trunk show and that Margot has a new book out, which we bought. Because, as I said, every single sweater I want to make. <laughs> the, the name of the book is Margot Blanc. Blanc. A new perspective on winter white knits. I do not know that I am going to knit these in white because I have a tendency to spill and dog hair and everything else. And um, I don't wear a ton of white, but... Or slobs. Yeah. I am going to make them all in yeah. all different colors. Even the hat. And the scarves and the... She had one set up where it's a more of a scoop neck sweater, but then she had this big chunky cowl on top of it. So it looked like there was almost a double turtleneck on top of it. It just looked fantastic. What I need to do is make the art items and then have her style me because <laughs> she'll know how to do it. But um, that's the cowl. That's the cowl. And now think of that on top of a. Uh, well, probably that I sweater. I mean, the sweater. The sweaters are gorgeous. There's one that looks like seed stitch. There's one that's ribbing that reminds me very much of my youth and the United Colors of Benetton sweaters, which I She love. has been saying, Mary's been saying uh, all fall, this one? Yeah. That she wants to knit a bit. Oh. The earthquake was Tabitha. She has... She's crawling Jumped up onto Mrs. the, the um, island. That yep, is her there you tail. Go. This is Tabitha, the fourth <laughs> member of our family. You comfy there? <laughs> you just have a bath. Seriously. <laughs> we'll wait. The podcasting world will wait when you <laughs> bathe. Oh my god. Wait, what is that thing? Hey. 
She ain't very bad to have this love-hate relationship. This is Tabitha. She is our other cat that we rescued from my mother's garden down on Long Beach Island. We found her, we think, at 10 days old. She is also hand fed. By me, I might add. Yes. Mary Beth's the one that rescued her. Mary Beth's the one that insisted that we keep her. Um, I, I put up a really big fight. Um, and she's so horrible to Mary Beth. <laughs> I can do anything to her. I can dress her. I can do whatever I want. She's now twitching her back. <laughs> Go away. Have fun. Hey. Come on. Here we go. Okay, so now you've pretty much met everybody. <laughs> Back to the sweaters. Right. Here, I thought um, I had it. Oh, oh here. It on. There you go. This one is a perfect example of thick, chunky knit uh, ribbing and just talk about really creature comfort, comfortable sweater. That's the, that was one of the things that struck me about all these sweaters. You just live in them. They just look so so comfortable. So we bought the book, and we will be making sweaters. Yes. I told them the next time I come in, all six <laughs> of them will be done. And then we do them in six years. Everybody <laughs> left. However, um, I will be uh, casting on some yeah. of these very so shortly. I love them. I absolutely love them. So that was our one acquisition that we actually bought. Um, and then we did get some gifts. So shall we start with Megan? Are you drinking it? Yes. Okay. So yesterday, we um, found a lovely box sitting on our front porch, which is always fun. And in this nondescript white box, it's um, from New Zealand, which is also awesome. Yes. So thank you very much, Megan. Megan, you were just so very generous. Um, and she wanted us to wait until Christmas. <laughs> so we may look like we're adults but we're five and if you give me presents i'm gonna feel the need to open them plus as mary beth said we have to open them for the podcast it's so we have to show them the podcast business. so this is the first thing that i opened she was these are to uh join our yarn pig and these are oh, hysterical my god i laugh so hard <laughs> mine is a cow <laughs> With a bell. <laughs> Mine is a cat. <laughs> okay, so Bonnie is a ball of yarn. <laughs> and it's got knitting needles through the top. <laughs> <You know? laughs> I love him. And he's going to sit on my work table <laughs> so that I will chuckle every time I see him. Because, oh my god, I love him so much. <laughs> he is so funny. They Mine. are so fat. Mine is a cat, and he's a giant bull, sparkly yarn. <laughs> with the tail, show the with tail. The, with the tail. Wrapped around the, the knitting around needles. Wrapped around the knitting needles. Um, I, I love his, his, his whiskers. Treats in his whiskers. <laughs> it's just, these are the funniest things. They really yeah. are. I, I, Megan, and I have never seen anything like them. You made here. me laugh so hard. <laughs> Thank you so much. They're so funny. Anyway. You will sit there for right now. And then we each got a 2017 calendar. Mine are landscapes of uh, New Zealand. So I can see different places nearby where uh, Megan lives. And mine are all the birds of New Zealand. Which are just... I mean, it's awesome to see the birds, but the colors are fantastic. So, so do not be surprised. that There will probably be a yarn someday in this color. see some yarns. Look at the green. So pretty. Yeah. So. And it's really interesting because my landscapes are backwards. Uh, the seasons are backwards. The seasons are backwards because <laughs> this here, is the height of summer for us. Right. So. <laughs> Snow. Yeah. yeah. And look at December down here. So it's, it's really, it's just it's so fun. cool. For the, the, really uh, fun. the perspective um, is great. I wonder if we get, I bet we get um, New their, Zealand holidays. their holidays. School terms and everything. So. Very cool. Oh, look, the Queen's birthday, June 5th. That's good to know. All right. Wow. Wow, that's 
pretty. Yeah. I love calendars. Yes. We don't take advantage of them enough. We really need no. to use them. So we have our calendar and then okay, I'm gonna put the box up. Okay. I will take that. Are you putting him in or are you gonna leave him? Just up? because of the room. Okay. Got it? Yep. Thank you. Having earthquake. Knocking things over. Okay. So the next things we pulled out were these bags. Look at my bag. And you it's got orange inside. How well it holds its shape because it is stuffed full, full of goodies. There are. And I just, Mary Beth said it to me, Megan. The quality cotton is beautiful. It's beautiful. It's so I mean, thick. It's just so much thicker than most cottons we can get here in the States. Right. So just really, it's such a nice sturdy bag, but it's not canvas. It's still got the soft squishy of a cotton. Right. So it came inside. There are pockets. There's a zipper pocket and then some a pen pocket and a snap pocket. All the pockets had presents in them. And to the Megan, best of my knowledge, Megan made these. Oh my so goodness. Absolutely brilliant. Really, and, and so much stuff, so much stuff. There's chocolate, there's yarn, there's cards, there's little bits and pieces, you know. Okay, Megan, did you dye these? Yeah. That's because seriously. Because they're gorgeous. Wow. Mary Best colors, my colors. Look at this. Ah, I'm trying to decide what to do with right. this. We're kind of contemplating possibly button band. But then I think, oh, I really want this in like socks or something. So right. I'm not sure. Yeah. So. I haven't decided. I might. I don't know. Let's say. Lots of little minis and things. This one is going to be the cuff of my other sweater. I, ha I got two solid ones. I so adore these little puppets. Yeah. One's going to be one sweater cuff and the other is going to be the other sweater cuff. Um. Lots of minis and things. I don't... Um, Chocolate! Sour... Fahoya? Fivor? They're sour candies. Mine are um, spearmint leaves. Grandpa's recipe. Giant spearmint leaves. Oh, they're different colors. I thought they were all green. Nope, there's a red in there. Yeah. Okay. Um, Got a ton of cards, which I know, Megan, you are a paper crafter, so I'm pretty sure you made them all. So I have that one. They're just gorgeous. Okay, tip forward a little bit. There, there you go. That's good. Okay. Because it came all cello wrapped and everything. Is that upside down? No, I think it's just backwards. It's just thinking of it. There you go. There, there, there you go. That makes so much more sense. Yes. Unless there's a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Is that so, just so much work. Went into it. I hope you sell them. If you have a, um, a an Etsy shop or something like that, please let us know so that we can, um, you know, promote you. Because really, these are beautiful. There, we each got what five different cards, four different cards, five. five. I mean, all different. Holidays or and uses themes, yeah. and themes for cards. Look this. That's wood. Congrats is uh, done out of wood. It's so cool. So um, and then there were um, pens. More minutes. She made us these little oh, here's, uh, stitch markers. One that says I love knitting. She made us okay. these ornaments. I don't, I just, this kills me. Look at this. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny sweater. That is so cute. That, and then. I'm sure you made, but. Yeah, because you sent me the mini that goes with these. Teeny, tiny little Mittens. stitches and everything. Oh my God. I mean, what did I, you do these on, a negative one? Yeah, look at mine. Seriously. 
so pretty. So I said to Helen, that's it. We have to get our tree up so that we can put our ornaments on. We got a New Zealand pen. Santa star ornament. <laughs> this one. Awesome. Okay, your hand is I totally in front. To... Totally makes me laugh. <laughs> Absolutely love this. So um, I'm not going to take everything out because. Flip flop keychain. They're With so cool. There's a New Zealand button. Go in my bag. Thank you so very Thank much, you. Megan. Thank you very, really, very much. I mean, you just spoiled us yes. completely. And, and um, really so inspired by your bag. I know. We're totally still in your pockets. Yes. <laughs> you did a great, great job. Thank you so very much. And I, I really love... I cannot tell you how much and I'm I sorry we didn't wait. I'm not. I, we had oh, such no, a good I'm time not, yesterday I'm opening not, it. I'm not sorry. I, I'm apologizing to Megan that I ruined your plan that I was going to open it on Christmas. Yeah. Christmas was yesterday for us. Yes. So. It was really so thank you very, very, very much. New Zealand postcards. Maybe one day we will get together and meet in person. I said to her that I, I can't wait. Yeah. We're going to come to New Zealand. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of afraid of Australia. Not New Zealand. They've New got Zealand. sheep. Okay. So. Okay. Cause I Australia know. has, like, all the killer animals in the world. Excuse me. We have a man down. Okay. So that was our present from Megan. And then we are doing a Christmas swap um, on our Ravelry page. And I got one of my presents. I got oh. matched with two, I am. Um, two people. And I got my first package, which is very, very cool. I'm getting up again. Hold on. We are about to run out. In about three minutes. Okay. All right. We're filming on my iPad, and um, you can only do 40 minutes at a time. So. This is from Julia. Hi, Julia. Writer 58, I think. Writer 58, I think, is her Ravelry name. Thank you very, very much, Julia. She sent me a present with a card. Yeah, I'll hold the box. And lots of good things in it. She also had gave me a present that I was supposed to wait till Christmas to open. And again, I did not. But um, she sent me a stitch um, needle, gauge. needle gauge pens because she knows how much I like pens and stationary items. And um, this is her favorite kind of pen. She sent me minis. These are from Gnome Acres. It's her Christmas story uh, set of minis. So there are Fruitcake and Mistletoe and Eddie Griswold and a couple of others in there that are really, really cool from Gnome Acres. Three Opal Minis. I have to say, just as an aside, everybody on Instagram is opening up their Yarny event calendars, oh. whether they're Opal or the Legacy Five Arts ones. Or the River City Yarns. I'm so jealous. So jealous. I really want a Yarny event calendar next year. Well, we got packages, so yes, we did get some. I got some. Um, and then there is Heritage Prince Cascade Yarns. That's this is so cool socks. soft and squishy. It really is. I thought Cascade was more of a, um, like an opal or a regia. Yeah. That, no, this is softer. Okay, this is 100 grand, 437 yards, and it's 75.25. So, but very squishy and soft, really nice. But like a super wash, right? Too. Yes, yes. Um, two minis from Fiber Nymph Dye Works. These are minis of the month. For Bounce, I believe it is. Oh no, December. Oh Bother Self Striping and Golden Brown Semi Solid. That must be poop. That would make sense. Because Oh Bother will be. That's good. So we figured that this is a Winnie the Pooh because we've got Tigger and what was the other one? Golden, Golden Brown. Brown. So those are going to be very cool. Um, she sent me a present. Tabitha's back. These are, that was Tabitha. These are key Black rings. as her soul. That are, so why am I showing this in? They're from No Makers, and they're little mini tanks of fear. 
That's a key ring. Thank you so much, Julia. That was so kind of you to send me one. So we are going. I'm going to put this as um, it's be a zipper pull. A zipper pull for one of my bags. <clears throat> she sent me. That's my present. I was supposed to wait to open. Two different things of hot chocolate. Starbucks, which I am drinking right now, and Giardelli. Love these. Thank you. She sent me a mug to, to drink. drink my hot chocolate in that is knitted. It looks like it's knitted with reindeer going across. It's so cool. I am not drinking in it yet because I was waiting to show, but now I can start using it. A little notepad. It's um. so pretty. And then she also sent uh, Hershey Kisses that are Kissmas sweater. So they're sweater kisses. They look like they're all done up in their little knitted sweaters. They're so cute. Really cute. So we have already opened okay, those. those. Those are in our snowman jar full of chocolate. Um, and it's, oh, and then the last thing, um, here's my present that I was supposed to wait for Christmas Eve. It's a Zauber ball. Which we've never even seen before. Much right. Much knit with, and it is awesome. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Just pull the side so they can see the... Um... Inside, they're all different colors, including some speckles. Look at the stripe of great color in there. It's so pretty. I love the color. You would never Great's get up. this it's this color. Yeah. Would go for me. So gorgeous. So I cannot wait to start working with this. I'm not sure what I'm doing with it, but it will be something. And this is in German. One gram, uh, 100 grams, 400 meters, 75 superwash, 25 polyamide again, 25 nylon. So it's going to be something absolutely gorgeous. Oh, there. It's, there's your colors. Oh, okay. It's got a little picture down at the bottom that has colors, but they're very small. So. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you so, cool. so, so much. I cannot wait. So that was a lovely package to open. Oh, nice dense ball, too. I know. It's really very, very nice. These swaps are really cool. I know. We sent out ours last Monday. So everybody ago. should have gotten theirs because it's Hopefully, all within the states. So right, we were doing our. If you're supposed to get a package from me and you didn't get it, please let me know. Yeah, um, we were doing our get your yarn wishes granted that we fulfilled, and uh, fiber share and swap. We sent out probably 15 packages. Yeah. All these boxes going out to with full full of yarny goodness. It was it was really kind of nice. Yeah. Yes. Um, Oh, you know what? We do have one other acquisition. We did a show on Sunday, made in Monmouth at, uh, in Manalapin, and one of the other vendors there was a candle person, and um, we decided to splurge and get some candles because we wanted some candles. So we got a set of four candles. We have started... This one is called Broken Branches. Look at her label, I love it. It's the Quiet Candle Company. And Broken Branches, they're 100% soy, has a captivating and enlightening notes of citrus and pine. Love it. It's 100%, did you say 100% soy? I did. Um, we have burned that, this, we've burned for a couple days, probably, what, six or seven hours at a shot? Mm-hmm. So they're going to last a long time. They're supposed to last uh, 30 to 40 hours, I think, for this size. This is the 4-ounce size. And then I also we also got Enlightened, which is spicy and illuminating with notes of ginger and saffron. And this is the Enlightened label as I come zooming into you. Um, what this is that? This is Fireflies. And this is notes of fresh cut grass and mint. And you can really get the mint. So good. I am checking to see if they have a website because they don't have it on their card. And then the Pure Joy, which just of course makes me think of the shawl, um, is invigorating and uplifting notes of citrus and happiness. Oh, yes. So good. I believe they are on Instagram as Quiet Candle Co. One word. 
and I'll look it up before while I'm editing and see if I can get a, a website. I, I think they sell at rusticrhapsody.com. Rustic Rhapsody. Rhapsody is W R A P S O D Y. That makes sense because there's a, she also does um, really nice wrap jewelry. Um, I believe one sister does the jewelry and one sister does the candles. So. Um, Oh, and they have a thing called tile strikers, which are really cool, where they put tiles together with matches in between, so that you can strike the matches right there, and then you set the candle on the tile. So it's the really, candle isn't on your surface or whatever. It's so. very cool. Yeah. Anyway, they have amazing candles, um, and not badly priced for a, for soy and everything. I would recommend these yes. really highly. They're so good. Very really, good. really good. So that was that was a nice little find. Yes. So. Yes, and it was. Very lo local, Monmouth County, New Jersey. Mm. All right. Um, so our 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 big new adventure is our yarn. We are we dyed yarn. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Teresa, you were first. Yes, thank you. <laughs> we might have shrieked just a little bit in glee. And you were so. right on top of it because yes. you came. You were perfect. Almost immediately. I put it on Instagram and you did sold. It so sold. it was cool. It was so cool. Anyway, we wanted to show you. I'm sorry. Uh, we're going in and out of frame here. Well, here. First, we'll show the inspiration. Okay. So Mary Beth dyed two colors. One color from there. Well, you were trying. Right? Or no? Okay. So my inspiration, one of my inspirations came from Jam Brett's the Animal Santa. I taught kindergarten and first grade for about 12 years, and I found Jan Brett because I was teaching and fell in love with her books and her illustrations, and so now I collect them because I'm a grown-up, and that's what grown-ups do. So, they um, appreciate absolutely gorgeous her artwork. Yeah, her illustrations are so beautiful. Um, and beautiful stories. So my inspiration is the Winter Raven right there. And this is what came of my inspiration. Here, get the cake too. Notice this fancy label. So that's what it looks like in a hank. It's um, mostly black with some gray and then red and green in it. And this is what it looks like caked up. It's really cool. It's it's different. It's very different. Well, it's different However, for us because we're not really dark right. people. Dark um, colors. Blacks likes. and things like that. Um, but I, I really am growing to love this. As usual, I dyed it and then didn't like it. And I, it has to grow on me so that um, I can really... Take some time and let it sink in exactly what it is because once that happens and it was a happy accident because you weren't going for all that black to begin with right it just i love it yeah i really love it so that was my first one go ahead uh i use the winter the wild christmas reindeer for mine um the book and one of my colors is the Wild Christmas Reindeer. So, this is the Wild Christmas Reindeer. The Wild Christmas Reindeer. This was one that I just, I adored from the minute it was in the pot. Which is odd for me, because I'm not brown person. Brown is like my least favorite color, but I just... This is so pretty. Yeah. So, so pretty. And the cake is gorgeous. Yes, this I mean it's very it's very Christmassy, um, with the reds and the greens, and the browns and everything. But oh, it's really cool. So pretty. If I do say so myself. And then my second inspiration was uh, Tika is the girl, and that's her. Co it was her coat, and this is Tika's coat. Oh my god! Which I also. Oh my god. <laughs> This blue is so beautiful. It is really a gorgeous 
royal blue. Um, and you've got greens and reds. Some pinks. And there's a little bit of black. Oh my god. It is so pretty. So, so pretty. And then my last one, we're calling Vintage Candy. It did not come out the way I wanted it to. So I switched off what the original inspiration was and went with something else. Because that's how we roll. And then, so this is the Hank, which Mary Beth really wasn't thrilled with. But I love. Because to me, it looks like a vintage uh, candy cane. This is how it kicked up. And then all of a sudden, she fell in love with it. God, look at this. So it just goes to show, because... We were having a discussion. When you buy yarn, do you prefer it in its original hank, the way it was dyed, or do you prefer it reskained? And I'm more of an original, seeing it as it was originally dyed because I like this. I just like the the pops of color, right, and that kind of thing. And that's how I look at it and buy it. Um, it doesn't appeal to me as much like this. Um, and maybe it's exactly the opposite. If I saw this, I'm not sure I would buy it. If I saw this, I would buy it in a heartbeat. So, this the is going to be a sweater for me. And pinks and... There's golden yellow. And some greens. And some pinks that go into reds. And um, there's gray that goes into like a violety purple. So pretty. Yeah. So, so pretty. So. Toad Hollow Yarns, now available at ToadHollowNJ.com. There you go. We have these four colors up, and we will continue dyeing and adding more, because we had a really good time doing it. And as a matter of fact, as we are filming, we have skeins soaking, yep. ready to be dyeing. We are going to take the arm and just swap, swap the counter <laughs> and sweep everything off the counter and change the podcasting station into a dyeing station. There you go multitasking here putting it all together all right um i think that's pretty much it right just oh, when no. we've been um okay we wanted been to show the store. we usually show like something from our shop um and we have just been very very busy not doing bags this week right we and uh this happened last christmas too we have uh, one particular pillow that we do that gets very popular around christmas time it is uh the personalized dog pillow you will recognize the name. So this is our sample pillow. This is um, exactly what your solo looks like. Yep. So you, uh, what you do is you give us your dog's name, the breed, and we'll put the silhouette on, and then three things about them, and then we put it on a pillow with a nice soft flannel back. So I believe on Tuesday will we send out 20 of them? Yes. And then um, we sent out... Um, another... 10 yesterday? Well, yesterday was Tuesday, so Monday we Monday sent out 20, yeah. and then yesterday we sent out another 10. So, we have been very, very season. busy making so. bag, uh, pillows. So. Lots of pillows. Um, it's a great gift for someone who loves their dogs as much as we do. We do uh, a cats. ton of cats ones, too, mm -hmm. so it's a great gift. It's also uh, not so much at Christmas time, but during the year we do a lot of them as uh, memorials for People who have lost their pets. So, this is our dog pillow. It's really, it's a nice, it's a nice thing to do. Loving my dog as much as I do. I totally I understand. understand. Yes, and it's really nice when we get the the families that have three and four pets, <laughs> and we're doing three and four dogs, um, and the, I have the a differences. Set of four golden retrievers. We're waiting for approval back on right now. But the the differences in their personalities and things, it's it's so funny to see. Also, I cannot tell you how many times spoiled rotten. Yeah, I can't imagine. <laughs> we were talking to somebody at Joanne's yesterday because we went to Joanne's, um, which we basically do on a, a daily, daily basis. basis. And we were talking to the, one of the managers behind, and he was talking about how he feels he's really treating his dogs well because he's got the three season room where they've got the older furniture and every now and then he lets them up on the furniture out there and they think that it's the greatest thing in the world and we well, didn't have the I, I felt like saying to <laughs> yeah they let me sleep on the bed occasionally right. <laughs> they take the couch and they might allow us to have the corner right. <laughs> but 
allowing That's them to be up on the the three season room couch every now and then. In my Instagram picture from yesterday, where you know, poor Spike, he had to eat on the couch. Mm. So. However, um, so dog pillows, yes, something that we do. And um, speaking of pictures on Instagram, I did want to mention. I don't know whether you've seen it or not, but we've seen it going through a lot. The 2016 best nine. Um, on Instagram, if you're on Instagram, they pick your best, I guess your most popular nine your pictures. Your most popular, yeah. Um, and I saw it last year, and it started coming through again for this year, and I didn't do it last year because I wasn't really very active on Instagram then. So I thought, okay, how do you do this? And, no, and nobody tells you how to do it. So I Googled 2016 Best Nine, and surprisingly enough, you go to a website called 2016bestnine.com <laughs> and give them your Instagram name, and they tally your likes and everything and give you um, a set of nine, a grid of nine pictures that are your most popular pictures. So um, we both did ours. We did. Yep. We did ours this morning. You may be shocked to know um, eight of the nine are yarn. Yeah. Mine are all yarn. The amount of pictures that I put up of my dogs and cats, you would, you would think, think I, that something... One, one of them would have made the cut, but nope. the, nope. they're all, all yarn related. And so. Rhinebeck. You do have Rhinebeck. Right, right, right smack in the... It was kind of funny. Right smack in the center was the picture uh, we took with Sue Stokes at uh, Rhinebeck, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah, my, so. my middle one is our porch that's done up for Halloween, which I'm ashamed to say is still done up for Halloween because we haven't had a chance to do it for Christmas yet, but that is on the books the, for it this week. Our neighbors are... We have one... Person that lives in town, um, who also has their fall decorations up. So we're checking every, every time we drive by his house. I'm like, oh, Terry's pumpkins are still there. We're good. We're still okay. We're not the last in town to change over. So that is definitely on the works for this week. We yeah. have got to get it done. Um, if for no other reason than we have pumpkins that have been sitting out there. Say. They they weren't carved. They're solid, no, but no. they've been sitting out there. So. so okay, all right. So we have work to do. Yes. Um, but. I think we are good, right? Yeah. We will see everybody next week. Yes. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Lots and lots of knitting yes. with this wintry weather coming in. You know, it's time to hunker down and get a mug of hot chocolate or tea and Christmas shop. And, yeah. So We're really looking forward. This is, since we closed our store, this is the first time in five years that we're going to go sh Christmas shopping in somebody else's store and not in a panic right like oh my god i have like an hour or whatever so i'm be so fun. looking forward to it i'm gonna we're gonna take a day and we're just gonna wander around montclair where we grew up um they have all sorts of really amazing stores and we're just gonna shop downtown yep. montclair so um it's gonna be really really cool yeah nice and so. you know just go in the middle of the day Maybe even on a weekend. We might even do it on a weekend. And anybody who works in retail, it. you know how impossible that is. Yeah. But we might. We're running out of weekends. We better get going. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, everybody, go forth and knit. Go forth and knit. And have a great week. Yeah.